Hello, my name is Connor Stevenson, and uh, this is video three of four in my final project. So, uh, when I presented my my idea for my project to Dr. Z, she told me that it was good, but it uh, needed to try to relate to my major a little bit. My major is actually political science. I'm a junior, and uh, it turns out impressionism has a lot of impact on her. Uh, Politics has a lot of impact on Impressionism, and so it was kind of the perfect storm when I decided to pick this. So, um, back with video three, and uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about the uh, kind of French politics during the end of the 19th century, the Dreyfus Affair, and the uh, role Impressionism played in all of this, and uh, how it got influenced and everything. So... To start, I'm going to go over kind of what was happening in France at the end of the 19th century. So, in France, the, the French Third Republic was a system of government they adopted after Napoleon III was overthrown. So, basically there was a lot of disruption for power and a lot of conflict. Uh, France was trying to do all kinds of stuff. They were trying to uh, colonize different places and uh, it was just a big mess and nobody really knew what was going on and uh, it was just in a lot of disarray and this is kind of the cause of, of what we're going to be talking about next which is the Dreyfus Affair so the Dreyfus Affair is a uh, is an interesting topic so you may be wondering uh, what the French Third Republic has to do with art which it's, it's actually what I'm going to go into uh, in 1894 the Third Republic was divided and the Dreyfus Fair was the reason. Uh, Alfred Dreyfus, who was a, a captain in the, the French army, he was an artillery captain actually, and uh, he was a Jewish man. He was accused of treason for basically selling military secrets to the Germans, which that's a no-no. You can't do that. Treason is a really big deal in, in any country, but uh, he did not do the right thing here. And uh, at first, the public supported his conviction. And it kind of played to the narrative of the the disloyal the Jewish the disloyal Jewish guy, and the anti-Semitic groups really really ran with this. Um, so his entire family was really fighting for his innocence, like all throughout this. And uh, it turns out, her son, and they ended up getting enough evidence where her son was, it was it was proven that it was someone else who actually was doing it, and that guy got in trouble. <clears throat> uh, it is, this gained a lot of press, though. So it, it split the country into the anti dreyfuses and the people that were for him. And uh, so it made people choose sides, which uh, political division is never a good thing, whether it be in French politics, American politics, or any kind of politics. So you may also be wondering why this has anything to do with Impressionism, so I'll tell you why. So uh, Impressionism was like I said in the first video, started around the 1870s, and it was influenced a lot by what was going on around them. So, basically, they were, like, what people described Impressionism, Impressionist as was a, uh, a group of lunatics, is what I read somewhere, and uh, there was a, a shift in France after all this uh, Dreyfus Affair stuff, of state-sponsored art, and what what basically state-sponsored art is is just basically the French Academy of Art was connected to the government, and they chose who got in to their salon. And I'll put a picture of the uh, of the Academy des Beaux Arts uh, up here on the screen, and uh, I'll put some more pictures of the impressionist paintings, like the landscapes and modern life and things like that that I'll be talking about in a second. So basically uh, Impressionists were really not welcome into this because they didn't paint uh, these biblical scenes and these mythological scenes like you see sometimes in, in French art and uh, they were just rejected from the academy and instead of conforming they really just decided to do their own thing and they kept painting their modern landscapes and or, or, or landscapes in their modern scenes and there's a social shift in France that I'll talk about in the next video and 
that really became what people wanted to see instead of um, paintings about the Bible and, and these mythological creatures and stuff like that. So that's going to be it for video three. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm excited to bring you the fourth and final video of my project, and I'm really, really happy that uh, you guys get to watch this. So thank you. See you next time.